DJ Vlad is calling out names and he ain't scared. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So DJ Vlad hot off claiming that he solved the Tupac case. I think thinks that he is Tupac and wants to smoke with everybody. He's called out Drake and DJ Khaled for their silence over the situation between Israel and Hamas. So obviously there's a war going on over there. There's been a lot of bombings and shootings amongst other violent attacks which has left over a thousand dead in Israel and over like 900 dead in Gaza so far. Very sad news but DJ Vlad has taken upon himself and challenged Drake and DJ Khaled because Drake obviously has a Jewish mother and was raised Jewish and then DJ Khaled is Palestinian American. So obviously a lot of people have spoke out about the situation and Vlad is basically saying why are these two not speaking out about the situation? Which I see his point but I also see the point why they shouldn't. But Vlad took to Twitter to take shots and here's what he said. Has anyone noticed that the most famous Jewish person on earth, Drake, and the most famous Palestinian person on earth, DJ Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza-Israel conflict. It's not like Drake is too busy. He's been writing paragraphs about Joe Biden hurting his feelings about his new album. DJ Khaled has been working overtime promoting his new Jordan sneakers. But both of them have been silent on this topic. Why is that? It's because both are thirsty to maintain their relevance they wouldn't dare risk insulting a segment of their fan base. Heaven forbid that Drake might debut at number two behind Taylor Swift because some of his Palestinian fans chose not to stream his album. And it would be the end of the world if Khaled sold a few less sneakers because some Jewish people decided not to buy his Jordans. Jeez, I mean, there's more to that to come, but damn, Vlad, you're not holding back at all. You know what I mean? The guy thinks he's two part now. Now he's supposedly solved the case in inverted commas. Do you guys agree with these comments from Vlad? Let me know in the comments. But Vlad went on, he goes, that's the difference between artists of today and the timeless legends like Tupac. You know damn well Park would be the first one to speak about something so close to home. I mean, for one, DJ Vlad should chill with the Tupac stuff. We don't know why Drake and Khaled are not saying anything. But Vlad didn't stop there. He went on The Breakfast Club and echoed the same sort of opinions. Here's a snippet of what he said. Drake is the most famous Jewish person on earth, essentially, right? Who else could, could do a tour and fill out coliseums worldwide who's Jewish besides Drake, right? Khaled is the most famous Palestinian in the world, but neither one of them has said anything about this at all. And people are saying, well, well, they're not politicians, whatever. They influence hundreds of millions of people, which ultimately has an influence on the world. And you're not choosing to, to, like, to say anything. And Drake, who has a Jewish mother, and he grew up with his Jewish mother and her Jewish relatives in Forest Hills, which is a Jewish community in Toronto. He had a bar mitzvah. And then when this happens, he doesn't say anything because I think that he doesn't want to potentially affect his record sales. But Charlemagne in that same interview made made some valid points. He was saying like how we don't know if Drake and Khaled are doing stuff behind the scenes. They could be doing all sorts of things because Floyd Mayweather organized one of his private jets to send over to the people who need help. So you never know what, what they're doing behind the scenes. Even the legendary Ja Rule was asked in the street what he felt about this situation. Here's what he had to say. I don't think anybody's obligated to do anything just because they're a public figure. I mean, I know there is expectations of, you know, for, for people, but it's a, it's a tough thing, man. You know, um, sometimes people just, you know, they, they make a decision in their careers to stay away from politics, to stay away from, you know, certain things that are, you know, tough topics to, to speak on, you know, um, religion, you know, these things are tough. And then other times, people don't, may not feel like they're educated enough at the moment to speak right away. So give people time to do what they're doing. This is a thing that is all developed in, over in the, last, in the last week. You know, we're really just kind of, 
seeing it all develop in real time and, and, and trying to understand it all. You know, I know I am. But personally, I think Vlad is just looking to spark some talk so he can start asking all his guests on his channel the same question. Because does every artist who's black speak on that affects black people in America? Does every artist always put a tweet out, Instagram post when there's a serious situation? I don't hear Vlad have the same energy for them. Oh, but this one's Drake, the biggest star in the world, and Khaled, and also a very, very big star, so he wants to talk about it. I don't know if Vlad is also Jewish. I heard he is, but if he is, then I can see why he has a bit more energy for this one. But personally, I do not really want to hear pop stars talk about this stuff. I want to hear people that actually have some influence and power to do something. So I'd rather Drake and Khaled do stuff behind the scenes rather than do, do some political statement that maybe their PR people put together the words anyway. 